it's Harper. Welcome back to Teltanic. It's pretty easy to see if an animal owner is absolutely in love with their pet, whether it be a dog, cat, bird, or even iguana. But how do you know if your animal loves you back or is even able of loving you at all? Today we have a look at many ways your pet lets you know you are loved, which animals definitely love you back, and what you can do to show your pet you really love them too look into my eyes. Anderson Cooper from 60 Minutes once met up with Brian Hare, who classifies himself as scientist, author, and dog guy. He said that when a dog looks you directly in the eye, that's his way of hugging you. Have a chat. One of the many ways you can show your pet that you love them is to always chat with them. MRI technology has proven that dogs, in particular, understand a lot more human language than previously thought. Bed hog. Does your pet love to share your bed with you? It's a sure sign that your pet absolutely loves you. Dr. Louise Cron, a sleep specialist, says that a sleeping dog or cat in your bed makes them fall asleep faster. A little gift. Dogs can be rather possessive over their toys, especially their favorite one, just like a child. So you can be sure that if your dog brings you their absolute favorite one, they're in love with you and they trust you enough to share it with you. This goes for bones, blankets, and anything else they're attached to. Polly wants a cracker. We know that dogs give us endless love, but what about other animals we keep as pets, such as a parrot? Deji Acero Belagon is an animal behaviorist, fauna manager, and wildlife biologist. He explains that parrots have the ability to bond very deeply with their owners. They need a lot of attention, so if you only have one, ensure to provide it with a lot of love and attention. If you do that, you will both reap the benefits of a great owner and pet relationship. Give love to receive love. It goes without saying, but if you shower your pet with love, they will do the same. When your animal is the happiest to see you, this is the best compliment you can receive because in their eyes, you are their entire world. Excuse me while I go hug my dog. Face the facts. Have you ever noticed that your dog uses a lot more facial expressions with you than anyone else? That's because he's communicating with you as he feels safest with you. Some animal behaviorists have said that dogs often lift their left eyebrow in greeting, and that's interesting as the left-hand side of the brain is attached to emotion. You could also try using more facial expressions when talking to your pet, and you might find that your bond grows even stronger. It's catching. We know that yawns are contagious. See someone yawn, chances you'll yawn too. But now it seems dogs do it too. Studies on yawning behavior have revealed that we tend to yawn when others yawn because we're empathetic, similar to sympathy pains. And now many believe that dogs are also empathetic to us and yawn too. It shows your pooch has bonded with you as they certainly won't share a yawn with a complete stranger. Read a little. Here's another way for you to show your dog how much you love them. Read to them. There is the Shelter Buddies Reading Air program, which was specially designed to help dogs in animal shelters become more adoptable. Reading to dogs makes for calmer, less anxious dogs and brings them out of their shells. This program sees children sitting outside their kennel reading to them, which also gets them used to kids, which is a bonus. Lean on me. You know when your dog or cat leans into you and it's almost like they can't get any closer to you? Well, it's really just that. It's not necessarily a sign of clinginess or separation anxiety. It's just their way of saying, I love you so much and I want to be as near to you as possible. This is a sign that your pet feels extremely close to you. Cuddle up. There are conflicting reports as to whether dogs like being hugged or not. But scientists are leaning towards, yes, they love cuddles. Dogs like to cuddle their owners because it makes them feel secure and safe. It's another way for them to show their humans that they truly care. This little piggy. Pigs are quite the trendy pet to have, but do they feel any affection for their owners? The answer is yes. Pigs are very intelligent animals and they share many traits with dogs. They're easy to train, love attention, cuddles, and love and respond well to voice commands. If your pet pig is well loved, they'll allow you to scratch their bellies, they'll nuzzle into you, and they especially love being scrubbed down. They only allow those that they trust to do these special things. See you soon. If your dog whines when you leave, it doesn't mean that they'll miss you, but rather it's an indication that they feel anxious and insecure when you're gone. So see what could possibly be the cause of that. Dogs that love you and feel safe won't make a fuss when you leave. Don't mistake that for indifference. It's a sign that your pet loves you and feels safe. Time for cuddles. Gregory Burns wrote a book called How Dogs Love Us, and in it, he mentions that if your dog cuddles with you after his meal, that's a sure sign of unconditional love. Food is very important to a dog, so if you're the very next focus after your dog has eaten, then you know just how important you really are. Take a walk. Sharing experiences with your dog shows them that you care for them immensely. And a super easy way to do that is just to take your dog for a walk. Dogs really enjoy routine and a schedule, which also makes them feel safe in the knowledge that the love and affection will always be there. 
Smile, it's contagious. Dogs that love their owners share their emotions. They genuinely feel your emotions, so when you're sad, they're sad, and when you're happy, they're happy. It's nice to know that you have a friend that genuinely cares about you and walks whatever journey you're on right beside you. Staying ahead, a sure sign that your dog will show how much he loves you is that he will allow you to touch his head. If he closes his eyes while petting their head, they're even higher up on the love ladder. Usually dogs don't love their heads being patted and even perceive it as a threat. Oh, rats. If you own one, you're probably already singing their praises, but rats make incredible pets. Do they love their owners? Yes, researchers believe that they sure do, and they bond well with their owners. They're highly intelligent creatures and like to stay quite close to their owners. Waiting patiently. How is it your dog is waiting for you when you get home? Was he there the entire time? The experts say no. They certainly didn't spend their entire time waiting for you at the gate or at the window, but they sensed your presence and knew you were coming home. Now, if that's not a sign of love, then I don't know what is. I need you. If you Google, does my cat love me? You'll see there are so many indicators of how cat shows that they care. And one of the things that prove your cat loves you is when they need you. If you're petting your feline friend and she's needing you, she's returning the display of affection. Jump to it. Yes, it can be frustrated when your dog jumps up on you, but this type of behavior is not your dog misbehaving, but purely your boy showing you how much he loves you. Spend some time teaching him other ways to show his affection. Use your head. Cats like to headbutt their owners, and it may appear a bit weird at first, but when you hear the reason, it will make so much more sense. It's a sign that your feline loves you, because cats have glands all over their body, including their cheeks and head. So when your cat headbutts you, they are leaving their scent on you, claiming you as part of their family. The scent gives your cat a sense of security and a place of safety. Pucker up. Canine kisses, you know the ones, big, wet, and slobbery, they're the best. And just as you'd expect, they're a great show of affection from your canine friend. Show me love. Iguanas and bearded dragons are becoming more and more popular as pets, but can they return the affection they receive from their owners? It seems like the answer is unconfirmed, but even after studies, experts are not convinced that they actually love it all. There is one case where three bearded dragons never left the side of their owner, but whether it's real love is definitely unknown. Give it a rub. If you were asked, would your dog prefer a treat or a belly rub, what would your answer be? I'm leaning towards treat, but it seems like I would be wrong. If your pet genuinely loves you, they'll opt for a belly rub. Affection over food equals true love. Where is the love? Hamsters and gerbils are perfect pets for children, and it's been proven that they do tend to have a favorite human. But whether they have physical feelings of love, it is not clear. Nip and tuck. Cats like to gently nip the fingers of their loved ones, and that's their way of telling you that they care for you. When cats interact with other cats, they like to nip each other, and their skin is much thicker than ours, so it doesn't hurt. Bottoms up. When your dog feels safe in your company and wants to play with you, he'll get the front half of his body onto the ground and his rear end will pop up into the air. This is often mistaken for an aggressive display, but it's the exact opposite. It's just about time for number one. But before we get there, how does your pet show you that they absolutely love you? Let us know in the comments below. Love is a doing word. Here's a pet that you might be surprised to learn can love their owners. Snakes. Snakes can be rather skittish, so they thrive on routine to learn to trust their owner, but enjoy the time spent with their human and are aware of who their caregiver is and who isn't. There are some that will tell you that this love is not real, but any snake owner will quickly put them in their place and give you a list of reasons why they know their snake loves them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Come over to my channel, watch topic for more videos from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.